Hey guys, hope you're well. Now I'm going to make pani puri. And this is a very popular street food in North India, which I love and enjoy it, and it's mouth watering. This has various versions in different parts of the world, but this is my way of doing it. So let's jump into it straight away. Come on then. So pani puri are two words. Pani means water. Puri means the puff snack which I have it in my hand. I got this from the Indian grocery store. They also make it at home, but I got it ready made. So I'll take this puri, pop it on the top, and stuff it with the ingredients which I have here. Dunk it in the water, which is spiced up water, and have it as a snack, which is super delicious, and I can't wait to do it. So there are three steps. So as a first step, I'm going to make two chutneys. The first is the sweet chutney using dates and the second chutney is the green chutney using chilies, coriander, ginger and the ingredients which I'll tell you. I'm taking 75 grams of pitted dates and I have soaked it up in hot water for half hour. This is to get the dates to cook easily. Add the soaked up dates to the pan. I've taken 20 grams of soaked tamarind. This is to give the tanginess to the sweet chutney, which would taste awesome. I'm taking 30 grams of jaggery. So I'm going to cook it in medium flame till everything softens up and I'm going to grind it later. As you can see here, this is getting thickened up. Uh, nicely cooked and have thickened so there is no water in it. Now I can take it off the hob, cool it down and then blend it into a fine paste. I let the sweet chutney to cool a bit, add it to the blender and I'm going to blend it into a fine paste. You know what, I can eat this red chutney or sweet chutney just like that because Tanginess and the sweetness blend together, tastes amazing and it would be super. My mouth is watering even right now. And I'm going to make green chutney now. This is for four servings that I'm making. And I'm taking just half an inch of ginger, four green chilies, handful of fresh mint leaves, which gives a very good aroma, and a handful of fresh coriander leaves and I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice into these ingredients. The reason I'm squeezing the lemon juice is to keep it nice and green so it doesn't change its color. And now I'm going to blend it into a fine paste. Now I have browned it into a fine paste. So to a larger bowl I'm going to add in the ground chutney. It is a fine paste to let you know. Add in normal cold water and I have added 500 ml water. I'm adding one teaspoon of chaat masala. As you can see, you get this in Indian grocery store or even in Tesco or Sainsbury's. So give it a nice mix and I'm going to taste it and see. Just to check if I need to add salt or it needs some salt and a bit of water because it's a bit more on the spicier side. Add salt and it needs some more chaat masala. Half small more. So in total I have added one and a half spoons of chaat masala. A very good blend. Very nice. Tanginess from the chaat masala and the spiciness from all those chili comes in and the aroma from the mint leaves and um, coriander leaves is amazing. Now both the chutneys are ready and going over to making the stuffing now. So I have boiled 200 grams of potatoes and kind of just mash it. Springs up and that looks nice. Now the mashed potatoes are ready 
and you could add boiled chickpeas be it white or black people normally add black chickpeas but I'm not going to opt for it I'm just going to put put this aside so 200 grams of mashed potatoes add in 50 grams of chopped tomatoes and 50 grams of finely chopped onions 50 grams of finely chopped mangoes and so all these added together will give you a very good taste so this is just a simple dish where you have the ingredients you can make it in no time and it is such a healthy dish that it doesn't have any oil added to it and anybody would enjoy it and I'm sprinkling in a little bit of salt to taste sprinkle it you could also add chili powder to this but I'm not going to add it because I I don't prefer having more spice as to your preference now this is done let it put it aside and get and let's get the puris ready so I've got to take the puris one after the other gently pop it on the top making some space so we could stuff so we could pop the stuffing inside I've got all the puris popped and let's do the filling take a little bit not much because it can contain more just press it inside and take this sweet chutney slide it a bit which gives a beautiful amazing taste and pop it there sprinkle some save on it which should be crunchier when you eat so let me fill the rest and show you how it looks it looks so artistic and nice There, at last, I'll sprinkle the snack, the crunchy snack on top, which would be easier for me. Sprinkle some coriander leaves on top. Look at the contrast. It not only looks nice and pretty, but also smells amazing. So let me show you how to eat this. Take one of the stuffed puris, dunk it all the way in. And you can also pour the spiced water on top and you can have it either way, either dunk it or pour it on top. Amazing taste, the sweetness, tanginess, spiciness, crunchiness, everything blend together in your mouth. It takes me to a different level, believe me. As I enjoy, I'm very sure that you would make this at home and will enjoy it as well. So guys, if you have enjoyed watching this video, do make sure you try this out at home and share it with your friends and families. Do hit the subscribe button and give a thumbs up if you have liked it. And you can also leave the comments below as to how you enjoyed it, which version or which method you followed. So, hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Thanks and bye!